Hey guys, I haven't vlogged in a while. This is the first time I'm vlogging since Lainey's been home and she's been home for three weeks now. Speaking of Lainey, here she is. She's eaten. If you're wondering why I have a blanket propped into her bottle, she eats so much better this way. She already eats super slowly to begin with, um, but she eats so much better when she's not being held. So I just prop the bottle up, or prop a blanket up next to her, or under the bottle in it, and I sit by her and watch her, and she just eats so much better that way. So if you're wondering why I look like a mess, I just woke up. Kevin's actually home from running claims today, so he was able to get Lexi out the door and kind of get up with Kaysen this morning so that I could sleep for like an extra hour because this, my dears, is the face of a mom with a newborn. She slept really good the first part of the night and then woke up a few more times towards the end of the night, like early, early this morning. And every day is different. If you watched my two month postpartum update, um, I said it in there that some days she sleeps really good at night and then some nights she doesn't. And um, if you guys don't are wondering like why isn't your two month old sleeping better, um, if you haven't watched any of my other videos, Lainey was born eight weeks early. so. Technically, yes, she is two months old, but she's only one month or one week adjusted because her due date was September 30th, and um, that was actually last Friday, and I'm filming this on a Friday, so yeah, she's exactly one week adjusted, so she's going to be technically in the newborn phase for quite some time. She's still really small. She only weighs five pounds. Um, we go to the doctor on Tuesday for her two-month checkup, and we will get like another proper weight check there, and they'll measure her and everything like that. Um, at her last doctor's appointment, which was two weeks ago, I think, pretty sure it was two weeks ago, she was um, 4.6 pounds, or 4 pounds 6 ounces, and she was 18 inches long, so we'll see how much she's grown. But yeah, she's been doing really good other than that. We haven't really had any problems. She's still, like I said in my two month post update, I'm kind of repeating myself here. She still um, has that real like nasally congested sound, which almost all of it's to do with just her being a preemie and her airways being underdeveloped. But as you can tell by the sound of me, we're all kind of battling a little bit of allergies slash mini cold from the weather changing and all that. So that kind of has a lot to do with why she's not sleeping good at night, I think. And this little guy right here loves being a big brother, don't you, Kaysen? Yeah. Make sure you're sweet, okay? We're wearing big boy undies. Uh-oh. Oh, bless you. Bless you. What are my misses? You were sneezing. What is misses? Yeah, you were sneezing, baby. Fully sneezing. Fully sneezing? Yeah. We're wearing big boy undies. We've been wearing them for like a week. He's been doing really good, huh, baby? Yes, baby undies. undies. Yeah. Baby undies. Yeah, baby, your undies. Baby undies. Baby undies. <laughs> um, he's been doing pretty good, but he still will not poop in the toilet, huh? You don't like to poop in the toilet? Does it scare you? Yeah. Oh, too bad. It's scary. <laughs> it's scary. It's scary poop. <laughs> So I got this in the mail yesterday and I'm so excited about it. I haven't even swatched it yet, so I figured I'd swatch it on camera for you guys. So these are the shades. They're so pretty. The palette is so much prettier in person than it comes across on pictures and on camera and stuff like that. So let's go. I want to. Oh my gosh, they're so soft look at that that's just one pass they're very very pretty i love the colors i think that this is going to be like the absolute perfect companion for my um visart neutral matte palette so pretty because this has mostly shimmer shades and then these three right here are the only mattes here are those other three that I swatched. Very, very nice. But yeah, I think this is going to be the perfect companion for my Visart palette. And this and the Visart are going to be what get me through all fall long. They're just so nice. So I'm so excited to play with these. I think I'm going to do my makeup and do my eyes using uh, the sh some of the shades from this palette. 
and then show you guys what it looks like on. So I just finished my makeup and I used the makeup by Mario palette on my eyes and holy crap, it's amazing. It's so, so nice. The colors are super pigmented. They apply so, so well and there was very little fallout. Um, I also used my Visart palette to accompany it and um, I'm just loving it so much. So I'll show you the colors that I used. Okay, so I used um, Isabel is in my crease. Kim is my lid shade and NYC is on my outer corners and lower lash line. And then I used Fifth Avenue as the brow bone and inner corner highlight. And then I also used my Visart palette. So um, I have this shade and this shade mixed together in my crease is my transition shade. And I also applied this first to my lower lash line before I applied um, the NYC color from the Makeup by Mario, Mario palette. So these are all the colors that I'm wearing on my eyes. It really turned out really nice. I like it. It's very appropriate for fall. And I'm just in love with both of these palettes together. They're just going to be my fall go-to eyeshadow palettes. I just know it. Well, you'll... Is this in the bathroom? <laughs> no, you Was probably... Was about just... to go somewhere? It probably shouldn't. Kaysen, were you about to dunk that in the water? Yeah? That's not very good. You've already broken your TV screen. Why would you want to break your remote? That is like your lifeline, buddy. Where are you going with that thing? Vlogging. <laughs> Chicken run? Go show daddy how you can press play. We're eating again. Look at her hair. See, it's hard to tell what color her hair is going to be. Today it looks kind of like a light brown color. But then on the sides, it's kind of like a reddish blonde. I don't know. Ugh, Kaysen's coloring on the walls. I gotta go. Laney girl, I think it's time for us to put on an outfit. Say, we are in the same onesie as we were yesterday. Say, it's time to put on some clothes, baby. So this is our outfit for the day. I love this little onesie. And her little bow. It's the first time she's wearing it. It's still a little too big, so I just tie a little knot in it in the back to make it tighter to fit her because her head's still so tiny. But we're so limited on things we can wear right now because she's still in preemie clothes and almost all newborn clothes are still way too big for her. Like this is a preemie outfit and look how big it still is. Um, I really didn't think she was going to be in preemie this long. And I have, <clears throat> excuse me, about... 15 to 20 preemie items, but we change her at least twice a day, her clothes, because she leaks in her bottles and it gets on her outfits. Um, and two, I like to change her in the morning and then put PJs on her at night, some clean stuff. And, you know, she just wears everything so much. Like, she's already worn everything like three or four times. And I'm just getting tired of looking at the same things. But I'll be, I'm sad to see you get bigger, but I'll be happy when you can fit into more of your clothes, pretty baby. Huh. So. Oh, this room is a disaster still. There's just no excuses. So. I am going to get started on this right away. I just, I, I'm gonna put everything away now. Well, as much as I can. Her dresser's in here now, so I'm gonna start filling those drawers and getting some of this shit off the floor because it's driving me insane. So while I clean her room, little miss needs to do some tummy time. I've been horrible about tummy time, but she really needs to, to do it. Are you not a fan, sweet baby? You do a little bit of tummy time. You don't have to do it for very long, but you need to do some practices, okay? Are you super manny? Lady bug. Gotta get your tummy time in, sweet baby. <gasps> Look at that strong neck. Look at you. Oh my goodness. Look at you, you're so strong. Tiny but mighty, huh, baby? Oh, turn the head. You're such a pretty girl, Lainey. 
Tummy time didn't last very long. <laughs> she, it was probably just a little bit too much for her because she still is so tiny and I'm really bad. We never do tummy time. But I mean, she did it for like five minutes. Pretty good. We'll keep on practicing though. I need to try and do some a little bit every single day for her. But she just wants to be held right now. But I really need to get this stuff done. If I can just like take the next 30 to 45 minutes, I can get a lot of this stuff put away. And then she and I can snuggle. Especially when Casey goes down for a nap because he's super needy. <laughs> if any of you have, to have toddlers, you totally know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I just can't get over how adorable she is. Like, sorry, I'm sure it can be annoying for some to hear people gush over their babies about how cute they are and yada yada yada, but no, for real. Like, she's so perfect in every single way. Um, P.S. I love these bibs. These bibs are so perfect. Um, I will be doing my newborn essentials video here in the next few weeks, and I am going to mention these um, in that video because these fit her so incredibly well and um, they're nice and thick and they wash really well too. They're just so cute. I love bandana style bibs. And I put the little mittens on her hands and they fit so perfect. Oh, sorry, baby. They're nice and tight where she, they like are not gonna fall off. Oh my God, now she won't scratch her little face. She gets little scratches on her face. But these are so awesome. So cool, I love these, so cute. Okay guys, so I made some really good progress in here today. Really, really good progress. Um, Lainey's in the rock and play. Cutest little bug ever. Um, but yeah, I still need to um, finish getting these out, which I will do probably this weekend. I really don't have anywhere to put the furniture just yet but I'm still gonna try to clean it off as much as possible. And then also this weekend, I am going to hang up her curtain. So her curtain will be up. And then I'm gonna paint this, which I haven't shown you guys this yet. This is Lainey's monogram. <coughs> Jesus Christ, now Kaysen's gonna be awake. Hold please. Pest control is here and he just rang the doorbell and woke up Kaysen. Did you have a nice nap? Cookies. What? Cookies. Cookies? Okay, I'll make you some Teddy Grahams, okay? Grapes. Grapes? Grapes. Grapes, okay. Grapes! Okay. Oh, oh, Grahams! Teddy Grahams? Yeah. Okay, I'll put them in a bowl. You... And you want to watch The Lion King? Yeah. Oh, my, okay. This is the next room I have to clean. Isn't it just lovely having a toddler? Um, he's going out of town with Kevin and Lexi tomorrow. And, uh... I am cleaning out his toys because he has way too many. He doesn't play with them, and this is all that he does, and I have to clean it up. It's terrible. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill this dog. Okay, so like I was saying, this monogram I will leave the Etsy shop down below for where I got it from, and it's gonna go above her bed. And I'm gonna paint it this weekend, and um, I am painting it a metallic gold, which I think is gonna look really good with her sheet and the other colors in my room. So I'm really excited to paint that and get that hung up on the wall. And um, I need some ideas of what to do on this wall over here because there's nothing over here and it's pretty blank. But once I finish up in her room and get everything the way that I want it, I will do a nursery tour for you guys, show you how I organize her closet, her dresser, um, when I finish all the decorations and stuff like that. I will um, do a separate video and all that, but. This is kind of just kind of a sneak peek of what I'm doing in here, getting it ready, cleaning it up, that kind of thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed it so far. All right. I made major progress in here too. But watch. Kaysen's gonna have this room destroyed again by the end of the evening and I'm gonna be so irritated. But it looks good so far. It's the cleanest it's been in a long time. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will update you guys once I finish Lainey's Nursery. Bye!